given time and experience, you may want to go up the ladder. You will need to consider strengthening your knowledge, management skills, and connection to complement your professional career. Depending on your interests and job requirements, you may want to be involved in professional services, public services, volunteer groups, and social clubs. You may be exposed to different environment, opportunities, and people from different sectors of society, and learn new and different things from them. Please remember, opportunities are provided to those who are ready. Are you? Technology market trends are like ocean tides. You can't control them, but you can learn to ride them. Those who do, thrive. That's true not just in technologies, but also in life. We are now entering a new phase of digital transformation. AIoT, renewable energy, electric vehicles, smart homes, smart cities. The pace is fast, actually it's very fast. But speed alone is not enough. What matters is direction. Life is full of twists and turns, ups and downs. And it's learning that keeps me afloat and growing. Over my 45 years of service, whenever there is a change, I would have to learn to unlearn and relearn, time and again. No wonder Gandhi had once said, live as if you were to die tomorrow, and learn as if you would live forever. After all, life and being alive nowadays is a blessing. No matter what, let's keep learning and live life to the fullest. In terms of training your brain, you should try to encourage and direct your minds towards different dimensions, different possibilities. Think beyond boundaries. Be agile, be positive, prepare for surprises and always perform self-will for your future improvement. You have to get your brain ready for all upcoming new challenges and surprises in your life. These are what I do every day and every second. Today is also especially meaningful as we are joined by our civil engineering alumnus, Mr. Peter Mack, Professor Thomas Wong, an esteemed electrical and electronic engineering alumnus from the class of 1975, who is celebrating the 50th anniversary of his graduation from HKU Engineering. Class of 2025, you are now part of the luminous and enduring tapestry of achievement, woven with dreams, dedication, and destiny. You are an HKU engineer with a legacy of building Hong Kong and building the world.